What's up everyone? Welcome to part three of our deep learning concepts tutorial series. And in this one, we're going to talk about pooling. So we'll go over what pooling is and what it's used for. So let's get started. So pooling is a pretty simple operation. What it's doing is it's combining the output of a number of different neurons and combining it into a single output. So there's a number of ways you can combine them. The most common is to take the maximum value and only propagate that max value to the next layer. But you could also do mean pooling or minimum pooling. Min pooling really wouldn't make much sense, but like I said, most common is going to be max pooling. So now let's see what this actually looks like with a diagram. So I've got a presentation here. So what we've got is our input, which is just some image that's four by four. And then we've got a two by two max pooling filter. So what it's doing is it's going to take the maximum value from this little two by two area over the input. So here you can see the max value is three. So only the three is going to propagate to the output. And then if we move to the next one, we'll just shift over by two and put our max pooling window on top of the next two by two in the input. And we propagate the maximum value here. So here it's eight, here it's four, and here it's nine. So the whole idea is to reduce the complexity of our network. So here you can see our input was four by four, and now our output is two by two. So that's the main idea, reduce the complexity of the network. And now to prove to you that we're actually reducing the complexity of our network, what I've done is created two networks with Keras. So we've got two CNNs, one with max pooling and one without. So here you can see we've got one Conf2D layer, then a max pooling, then flattening, dense, and our final dense layer. And then model two is the same thing, except we got rid of the max pooling layer. So we just go straight from conf2d to flattening. So now when I look at the summary of these two, you can see that the one with max pooling, we have a total, uh, total number of parameters of 173,000. Whereas the one without max pooling, we're up at 692,000. So you can see that the complexity and the number of parameters is about four times higher without max pooling. So you'll see the operation that it's doing, you can see going from the conf2d to the max pooling layer. So the output in the conf2d was 26 by 26. And by adding the max pooling, we're reducing the size in half. So now we're getting an output of 13 by 13. Whereas here we just go straight into conf2d and we don't reduce the size of the output. So that's why the flattening layer here, you know, the output is only 5,400, whereas the output here is 21,000. So that's the whole idea. We want to reduce the complexity because this will save on our computation time. So it's a simpler model to train. So we are sacrificing some complexity. So maybe our network won't perform as well but hopefully the, the gains in CPU and training time will outweigh the loss in complexity. So that's gonna do it for this video. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll do my best to answer. And yeah, I'll post these slides to my GitHub so you can use them however you like and stay tuned for the next one. See you guys.